hello in this video i want to talk about things the emotional abuser tells you when you're negotiating divorce and explain what they really mean hello my name is elizabeth goddard from revive your soul and on this channel i talk about healing from emotional abuse and divorcing the narcissist if you're new to this channel please like and subscribe and if you're returning welcome back and thank you if things the emotional abuser might tell you when you're negotiating divorce and what they really mean. So there might have been a little lull in proceedings, but eventually someone has to make a move and ask the court for a divorce. The emotional abuser may have offered to do this to save costs for you. And in this process, there are things you might hear. I don't want you wasting your money on solicitors. They don't want you using your money on a solicitor. And they might say this really early on like a little earworm, working into your brain, changing your thoughts and emotions. They don't want you using one because it isn't part of their plan. This isn't part of the negotiation that took place in their head and a solicitor is going to be asking too many questions. And the solicitor may have your best interests, but they are not the best for the emotional abuser. Make sure you've healed the wounds and then you can think about your freedom. They do not want anyone else to control this other than themselves. And a solicitor is going to be asking too many questions. If you'd like to find out about working with me on a one-to-one -one basis, then you can visit my website, reviveyoursoul.co.uk, or you can send me an email, info at reviveyoursoul.co.uk. Sending you loads and loads and loads of love.